we're in spring cleaning season. And recently I was telling you about ways to spring clean your life to get out of your rut. Today I want to go a little bit deeper and explore a few specific mindsets you absolutely need to let go of if you want to achieve your dreams. Hey everyone, this is Dominique Anderson. Welcome to Stretch and Bloom Soundbite, where in five minutes or less, I will give you a quick tip to create a life you love. All right, let's dive in. The first mindset I've identified is what I like to call fake positive thinking. You know, I'm all for positivity, manifestation, you know, taking in all the parameters of an issue, taking inspired action, focusing on the end result and all that. Real positive thinking. What I'm warning you against today is its ugly cousin, fake positive thinking. And it's basically, you know, not looking at the problem you want to fix. Then, you know, having a half-baked plan, you know, how you're going to get a solution if you have half the parameters missing. And then you add to that a bit of procrastination, delusion of grandeur, wishful thinking and um, and basically what's going on here is either you ha- know you have a problem and you don't get ready um, or you're being incompetent. Either way, you're headed for trouble. So the difference between the two is very subtle, but you have to think about it this way. Real positive thinking is driven, energetic, prepared, focused, unshakable with, you know, a very strong core belief. And uh, the fake positive thinking is more about avoidance, escapism. Um, It's a bit about fear disguised as confidence. Sometimes it's also incompetence infused with a bit of arrogance. Um, It's really important to distinguish both because one is going to lead you where you need to be and one is going to hit you, uh, lead you towards a wall. So that's the first mindset. Second one is people pleasing. And obviously there's nothing wrong with making people happy as long as you don't make their happiness a priority before your own happiness and then you lose sight of your dreams. And I know so many women who are struggling with this one. Um, So I really wanted to make this one part of the list because people pleasing is a big no-no because it derails your uh it derails you from your life then um you have to think it about it this way the moment you begin to factor in everybody's vision in your dream your dream is no longer your dream it's a hybrid uh, of everyone's dreams um it creates a tug of war and um and it prevents you from actually achieving what you want to achieve so here what you need to do is really spend time knowing yourself, identify what's in harmony with yourself, and then make sure that you only engage in what is in harmony with you and what you want to create. And this leads me into uh, my third point, which is having weak boundaries. And that goes along with what I was saying before, because people who engage in people pleasing tend to also have weak boundaries. I like to think of boundaries as your immune system. Your immune system's job is to fight viruses. It's a bit like an angry bouncer. So imagine if your immune system was acting like, oh, well, it's a nice virus. I don't want to hurt its feelings. Well, you know what? You'd be dead really quickly. It's the same with your boundaries. They prevent you from getting used, abused, overworked, sidetracked. So you need strong boundaries to protect your dreams. Here, what you have to do is be clear on your dreams and be okay with saying no. You don't have to be a bulldog. You can be gracious about it, but make sure to protect your dreams. So this is it. These were my three tips, my three mindset that you need to release if you want to be able to create your dream life. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this tip, make sure to join my inner circle. That's where you'll get access to all my in-depth tips. To join, go to stretchandbloom.com forward slash inner circle. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye.